In today's video, we will learn about records in Power Query. So let's go to the Power Query editor by clicking on Transform Data. So first, we will need to know that what is the difference between list and records. So list is based on a single column. Like for example, if we want to make a list for the ship date, what we have to do is we just need to click FX and uh, then we need to write the name of the column ship date that's it so this is a list right and list always based on the single column right all the rows within a single column and uh, what is record record consists of more than one columns right like if i click uh, here uh, like four and here you can see this is the record the record that is available at fourth row right and if I click on 20th row so here we are getting the data for this row and uh, it contains all the columns as, as you can see here right so let's try to create one simple record by our own just we just need to right click here and go to the blank query here we have to write bracket and then the name of the column will be like uh, employee employee id is equal to one hit enter and here you can see this is the single record like uh, we have one attribute right this is the header of the column and this is the value and then we can write one more like a name is equal to test and this is the second and then we we can write here like um, grade this is consultant right so this is one record so if if we so what will happen if we write here the curly bracket and then close this record with the curly bracket so what we will get we will get one list right so here you can see this is a list and this list is consists of one record here right and uh, because everything that we write uh, in between the curly bracket is called list and uh, let's try to add one more record here so we what we can do is we just need to copy this record and uh, then comma and here another right so here the employee id name is two uh, the id is two and the name is test two and this is like a manager so we have one list that consists of two records so now we need to confirm it and here you can see we are getting two records and if you click here you can see this is the first record that contain employee id1 and this is the second record right and uh, then we can convert this list into table if we want to perform some table functions on it so we just need to click the we need to click the source and then convert to table so we are getting a table with one column and it contains two records this one and this one let's go back to the source again and uh, so let's make a copy for the query 2 and uh, we can write here query 
3 and uh, we can remove the the list and the the second uh, record so here you can see this is the single record right now we have to learn that how we can access the individual attribute like uh, if i'm interested in grade then what i can do as i know that this is a record it, it is returning me a record and if i want to fetch the grade consultant then what i have to do is we, i need to write here bracket and then the name of the header that is grade this one and here you can see this is consultant right so in this way we can get anything like uh, employee employee id and here this is the employee id right so if we have a record then we can get the any particular item from that record with the help of uh, its header name so let's go to the for example sales uh, sales order and i can control c control v copy and this is uh, the name of uh, this table is sale order 3 and i am interested to fetch the this uh, order number 117 so hi how can i fetch this record so always remember this thing when we will talk about a uh, record the index will start from zero so it's a zero position one two and so on so how we can get this value this record that is available on the 17th position we just need to click fx here we have to write curly bracket and as we are interested in 17 then the index for this row will be 16. so here you can see we are able to fetch the record that is available at 16th position and if we are interested to fetch wholesale so what we will do we just need to write here bracket and then the name of the header is channel here you can see they say we are interested in uh, we are interested to fetch wholesale so the name of the column will be channel so this is wholesale right so in the same way we can fetch anything for example i delete custom one so we are interested here number 81 so what we can do is we just need to click fx and here we have to write curly bracket and uh, the index will be 80 and then we need to write the header so which value we we are we want to fetch so the name of the header is column header order number so click enter so here you can see we are getting 181 so that's all about list and uh, records in power query in the next video we will try to to do one practical example so how we can use records in real life so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you